All right, so this is going to be a somewhat quick video. Um, I'm going to be opening up and disassembling this, I believe it's an MSI, <clears throat> yep, GE75 Raider 10SF 446US BB71075H16G1T0DX10MA. Very long model number. Most likely people will just go by GE75 Raider or something. Anyways, we're going to use a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver to get it apart. The thing that's going on with this is when they plug in the charger on the side here. If you look at this, you push it in and then it just comes back out. So I think what's going on is the charge port, whatever holds it in place is broken. So we're going to see if we can secure that with hot glue or something. All right, we're going to remove all the screws. You want to keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and length. So I put them flat side down like this. On my desk in the pattern, I remove them and that's how I keep track of them. All right, I found that's the best way, but you can do whatever helps you remember. Okay. All right, they are all different size, shape, and length, so very important that you don't mix them up because if you do and you put like the longer screw in the wrong spot, you can damage the computer. All right, there's a little factory seal here, hole, um, that we are gonna have to get underneath. I don't think I can just scrape this off, so we're just gonna break the factory seal and take that screw out. Okay, just like that. Okay, and we're just gonna continue removing all the screws. Here, if this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, if your computer just isn't powering on for some reason, there is a little hole here. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a battery, kind of like a battery reset hole. Um, you can use a folded out small paper clip to push on that and you can press that for about 15 seconds um, and sometimes that will get the computer to start up again. So if that's the issue you're having, go ahead and give that a try first. All right, so let's go ahead and continue removing all these screws. The screw stuck for some reason. I'm going to try getting it out with a magnet. Okay, that helped. If you can't get it out, you could use like tweezers or even like a string or something. You can like wrap a floss or something around it or whatever works. All right. Or even when you pull the cover off, just make sure it doesn't go flying somewhere and then you can't find it. Okay, there we go. We got all the screws out. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to lift this up. We're going to rotate it this way. Usually it helps to kind of have the screen holding it up a little bit like that. And then I get my fingernails in the gap here between the plastic cover. Let's see if this one comes out like um, the other models. I might be getting the wrong spot. Okay, there's a little groove there. Let's see if we can pop it open from there. Um, not really much room to get in there. Hmm. This might be a difficult one. Let's see, what about from the back here? From the back here, you have this. Do we need to remove this cover first? No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like it's gonna hopefully just pop out. So I'm gonna try and get my fingernails in these little grooves and see if we can where we can pop this up from. We gotta find an entry point. Okay, maybe from the side here. Wow, this cover, there's not much of a gap to get in here okay so what about doing it upside down from this side i don't think so but let's try nope that didn't work so this looks like it's going to be difficult hmm okay let me try doing it with the screen closed get my fingernails in the gaps and push on it wow this one is tough hmm there's not really a place to get in here. Maybe the starting at the USB ports here. No, not really. The, the gap in here, like there's not really much room to get in. So you will need some very thin pry tools or there we go. I found a entry point. Let's see if I can pop it open now. There we go. All right, so what I did was I was kind of like pushing down at the USB port area and pulling, and then I was able to get a gap enough to get my fingernails in there. Or if you have a good enough, thin enough pry tool, you can do that. And now we should be able to go around and do that. So push with your thumb here, and then just pull up with your fingers, just like this. You can see all the clips are just popping. Okay, just like that. Very nice, very easy. 
Okay, so the only issue is the initial getting in started. Um, you want to be careful here because these ports do stick out here. Okay, so we're actually not going to lift from this side. We're going to lift from the other side. We're just kind of popping the clips out for now. There we go. All right, so we're going to go from this side and lift up the cover on this side. All right, and continue working your way around to pop all those clips out. Okay, the back is going to be difficult because it, there's only like the two screws here, so I'm not sure what's holding the rest back here in place. But uh, let's go ahead and try and pull this up. There we go. Okay, get my fingernails in the little gaps there. Okay, once you get enough of the gap open, you can kind of work your way along like all these um, grooves. Okay. Uh, does it pop out here or down here? Okay, it pops out like here. So I'm going to have to try and hold this in a way. It's harder to do it because I'm trying to record it to show you guys. But there you go. You can see I just slide my fingernails in there. And I, of course, if you don't have fingernails, you can use plastic pry tools. Okay. For me, fingernails make it a lot easier to do. And there we go. We got most of that out. So again, we're lifting from the side with the factory seal, not the side with the headphone jacks because the headphone jacks stick out. So we swing this up and kind of wiggle it a little bit. There we go. And now we got this out. Okay, here you can see um, the charge port here. When you push it, you see what's happening? This thing is getting shoved into there, and that's the problem. We're gonna clean this out because it is pretty dusty inside on the fans. All right, there's an M.2, I'm pretty sure that's a PCIe NVMe SSD. Yep, looks like it. All right, so there's an M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD here. If you wanna remove that one screw, it pops up slightly, you can pull it out. There's another slot for another PCIe 3.0 or uh, X4 SSD. All right, so you can get two SSDs, two M.2 SSDs in here. If you want, you can replace the two and a half inch SATA hard drive with an SSD as well. It's held down with two screws here. Once you remove those two screws, you can kind of lift it slightly and pull it back. All right, these giant speakers here, um, they're just held in with the rubber, so there's no screws holding it down. This cable, you would get the wings and you can kind of wiggle it to pull it out. Uh, and then you got the GPU soldered to the motherboard, CPU soldered to the motherboard. Okay, can't really replace them. Um, DC jack is connected right here. Um, it's just a wiggle like pull connector. Fan connector here, another fan connector here. Batteries right here, there's one screw one screw, excuse me, to remove that. Once you take the screw out, you can kind of flip it over. Um, maybe I should do that. Uh, let's see here. So we're gonna remove this screw here. Okay, and then once you do that, we can just flip it up like that. So this connects by kind of just going down and pressing into place. Is there a battery model number here? BTY-M6H. Um, so there's the battery model, BTY-M6H. All right, we're gonna set the battery aside for now. All right, and there's not really much else to talk about here. Bio CMOS batteries here, you can actually pull it out. It's underneath the motherboard, so you might have to move the speaker kind of out of the way like this, and then you can kind of grab that and wiggle and pull it, or if you have good tweezers or pliers or something. Okay, let me actually move these speakers out of the way to kind of see how it's connected. You got the um, touchpad, trackpad connector here, and then you got the trackpad buttons and the indicator lights here connected with that cable. Okay, I'm gonna put this back and be careful not to damage them because they just came in with the charge port issue. All right, then we got two sticks of RAM. We're gonna pop uh, one out just to check. You pull those two tabs to the side, then it flips up and you can check here. All right, and this is PC4 3200 AA RAM. So you should be fine with any PC4 3200 AA RAM. These are two eight gig sticks it looks like. You can put two 16 gig sticks if you want. You got this connector here for these USB ports and the SD card slot. Uh, keyboard connector seems to be underneath the motherboard. Um, and yeah, other fan connector, LCD, LVDS connectors here. Um, and the wireless card here as well. Wireless card is an Intel model AX201NGW. It's at the very top, so if you want to check yours, you can double check that. Anyways, that's pretty much it for now. Um, we are probably going to use some hot glue or something to hold this in place. If I put something here, it should hold it enough that it can plug in. So let me see if I get my finger here and then I try and push this in. Oh yeah, that's like really tough to plug in. Wow. Okay. So this plug, like you need a lot of force to be able to plug it in. So if I hold this really tight, 
then I can plug this in. But it takes a lot of force. So, yeah, whatever they put here, it's it needs a lot more reinforcement. Um, I can actually pop out the charge port DC jack. Um, I think it's held in with some adhesive or held down with some adhesive here. Um, I believe normally, what, I don't know what's holding this, supposed to hold this down. There's probably supposed to be some adhesive there, um, but it's not a very good design. Usually I think if the adhesive is holding, you'd have to take these three screws out and flip the hinge up. I can actually show you that. Again, make sure you keep the screws in order. Alright, this is a bit more effort than I was expecting for this, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, to get this out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the hinge down, and then I'm going to open up the screen slightly. Once I get it slightly, I can close it down, and you can see the hinge stays up, and that's enough that it's out of the way, and we can go ahead and grab this if we want. Okay. And then we can go ahead and peel this up. You want to be careful not to crease this cable. We're just going to kind of peel it up a little bit. Okay. And I'm just getting it out of the way. And here you can see this plastic down here. That's what broke. And this is what was holding the DC jack in place before. It broke off. And that's why it's just getting shoved into the computer now. So I am going to fill this up with like some hot glue or something to hold it better. Um, the area behind it, you can put a bunch of like hot glue in here and that way um, it will just push against this and doesn't have anywhere to go. And that will hold a lot better than the previous the design with that little bit of plastic. So let me go ahead and clean these fans out and then I'll be back with a hot glue gun to fill that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. You can also just fill it with random like bits of paper or cardboard or whatever. But yeah. All right. See you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm back. Let me zoom out here a bit so you can kind of see better. Hot glue guns on my desk. Here you can see the fans are a lot cleaner now. All right, this is all dusted out, cleaned out all these vents, cleaned out this whole thing. So there's a lot less dust all over it. Okay, we'll set that aside. Maybe I should try plugging it in as well just to make sure um, that it's actually going to charge. Okay. So let me do that real quick. I'm gonna get the charger all set up here. Let me get this stuff out of the way. So let me see if I can get a good or a decent thumbnail here of the insides. Okay, so we got the laptop here, just like that. All right, so oops, let me plug this in and we're gonna go ahead and test this out. So this plug, oh man, it's all tangled up. Give me a second. Sorry for this long pause here, but I mean, I guess it'll be easier to find a thumbnail for later for me to upload it. Anyways, get this unraveled, get this plugged in, and then we will see what we got here. So, I'm gonna place this plugged into. that one and we'll plug in the other one here I probably should have just paused the thing while I was doing this but anyways get this all right so what we're gonna do now we're gonna plug this charger in just to see all right so far no lights but that might be because right now there's no battery connected so let's go ahead and reconnect the battery as well so we'll get the battery in here, just line it up, and then push that down. Good. We'll put this screw back into place. Hopefully there's no other weird issues with this laptop other than that. Oh, I almost dropped the screwdriver. It got caught in there. All right, so we'll hold on to this and plug it in. Still nothing? Huh. I did plug the charger in, right? Charger light is on. Okay, there we go. Now the charge light is on, as you can see. I don't know, it took a long time. All right, anyways, what we're gonna do, there's a few things we can do. We can fill the bottom with hot glue, and then we can put some in the back here. 
because the design is not too good. All right, let me zoom in here so you guys can see a bit better. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna put some, I'll put some hot glue into this groove here. Then we're gonna push this down into place. We do need to hold it out in that position so that it doesn't get pushed back out or inwards. And then what we're gonna do, we can fill up this little area um, as another way to kind of keep it from getting shoved back in. Cause right now you can see it gets all shoved in here very easily. Okay, that's not good. We want this to stay outwards and we don't want it going anywhere, okay? So we got the hot glue heating up here, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a bunch in this area. Down, oh, is it not hot enough yet? I guess it's not hot enough yet. So I'm gonna let this heat up quite a bit more and then I'll be back, all right? I'll see you guys once that's ready. All right, so I think the glue is ready, or it looks like it, because it's like melting, the tip is kind of dripping down. So let's go ahead and fill this up a bit. Okay, there we go. Get a bunch of hot glue in there. If you put a lot, it stays solid for quite a while, so we have time to kind of move this around, get that lined up, okay? And then hold that into place. Again, I want to push it out. I'm pushing it out towards the outside as much as I can to keep it in that position. And also we can go ahead and tape this back down as well. Okay, so we're just holding this in this way. And we're gonna to want to fill this up a lot because if we don't, um, it's basically going to just get shoved back in. The glue doesn't hold too strong. And what I actually want to do is not really for this to be glued into place. It's more like the glue is just there to keep it from getting pushed in. So right now, if we take this out, it should be okay. Hopefully it's cooled enough. Okay. And you can see, actually, we didn't even put enough glue. So we're going to put more in there. It didn't even touch the charge port thing. Okay. So we're going to put a bit, quite a bit more in there. Okay. And then we'll get this in again. Right. I kind of want to put some um, Kapton tape in here to kind of just so that the glue won't stick to the foam pad. Though the Kapton tape will end up sticking to that foam pad anyways. Um, but uh, yeah, let me see about doing that. I'm going to get some of that. It's like a temperature resistant um, uh, electrical tape kind of. You can use anything. You don't have to use that kind of tape. You can just put Actually, maybe I should just use a piece of popsicle stick because <laughs> it will also act as like an insulator and also um, help make it more rigid. But let's see here. Should I use this or should I use a popsicle stick? Popsicle stick here. Yeah, maybe I'll just use a piece of a popsicle stick. Um, let me cut a piece of this off or snap it I guess it doesn't need to be perfect we're just gonna break it again you can use whatever you want you don't have to be copying me exactly um, I'm just doing what I feel will work really well okay so right there we're gonna break it off Some tweezers. okay so we got this piece of popsicle stick and I'm just gonna put it here to kind of keep the glue from sticking all over this foam piece. Oh, I think I made it smaller than I need, actually. I'm gonna make it a bit taller, so let me do a new one. This, and we'll make it probably about till there. Okay. All right, hopefully that's long enough now. I'm just gonna stick it in there to keep the glue from sticking all over it. Okay, and then now that we have this shim here, uh, basically we're gonna fill this area with the hot glue and that will um, act as like a thing for the charge port to stick to so it can't get shoved inside. Okay, so put a little bit right now. Let it harden a bit. And we should actually also put this thing back into place. So. If you can rotate it back on, there we go. 
just like that. Okay, this wood thing is probably going to hold itself now for the most part. All right, and then we're going to put the screws back in and then we'll just fill that up with some more glue. So I don't need the hot glue to be so hot anymore because we're just going to fill it and let it cool down. Let's go ahead and get the hinge screws back in. Okay, and then we're going to have to let it sit for a while to cool down because we did use a lot of hot glue. All right. That, and then these last two here. And this will also help hold it into the right position, but it should already be good. Shouldn't have any issues. And tighten that down. Make sure these screws are nice and tight. You don't want the hinge screws coming loose because a loose hinge screw could destroy the hinge mounts. And then you'll have some issues where you're going to have to end up replacing this whole plastic thing or using a bunch of JB weld to just hold it all in place. All right, so here you can see we have the charge port now hold, held in place. If I push on it, it's not really moving anywhere. That's what we want, but we're going to fill up more over here just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. So I'm tilting it sideways like this and like that so we can fill up this area here. We don't want it to kind of fill the, the hinge, but we just want it to have something to push against. So, all right, if you want, you can also fill in some, oops, sorry. You can fill in the glue here. And we're just kind of making it so that it's solid here, completely filled, that it can't really go anywhere. If you want, you can also put glue in between all of these to give it a more solid area to push on as well. Um, like there's a hole here. If you want, you can put it there but I'm just gonna kind of put it in this area here, okay? All right. And right now it should be good, but we do wanna let it cool a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna let it cool and I'll be back. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so the glue had some time to harden and cool down and solidify. So here you can see now when we plug it in, it goes in just fine. You can see this charge port isn't going anywhere. It's nice and solid and it's holding strong. Um, again, if you want, you can put in more glue all around to kind of hold it even better, um, like all through the middle and everywhere. Um, but this should be really good. I don't think it should be able to come out. Um, maybe I should put a little bit in there just in case. Um, though if it does somehow come out, um, I could always just do it again for the customer for free, but it should be really strong there. Um, yeah, so let me see. Maybe I'll just do a little bit more in here. Is it warm enough? Okay, it is warm enough. So we'll put a little bit in there just to kind of solidify this whole thing. Okay. Kind of have this hold stronger. And there we go. We'll just get that excess off. Okay, and I'll just push onto that. Yes, it's still a little bit hot, but not crazy hot. There we go. And yeah, that should hold really well. Let's go ahead now and put this thing back together and we should be good to go. So we'll zoom out here. Okay. All right, maybe zoom out a little bit more. Okay. So putting this thing back together is somewhat straightforward, though you do have to make sure you don't damage these, okay? So again, what we're gonna do, headphone jack side first, we're gonna put it at an angle like this, okay? Diagonal, okay? And we're gonna line up those headphone jacks, okay? You wanna make sure to get that lined up. Very important, if you don't, you can destroy it. So I'm gonna tilt this sideways to kind of see if it makes it easier for you guys to see. Oh, this is tricky. There we go. We'll get this side in first, okay. Um, yeah, it's gonna be tough to kind of show this on camera because I can't hold it at this weird angle. So, but hopefully you get the idea. Get that in at an angle. Line up the headphone jacks. Okay, it's not really going in right, so let me see what I can do here. Maybe I have to kind of tilt it like this. Okay, and this in, just like that. Come on, get in there. Yeah, this cover is kind of being a, being a pain to get in here with the headphone jacks. 
Might have to just do this off camera because it's I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm showing makes this way more difficult, I feel. <laughs> okay, so come on, why doesn't it want to go in right? Let's see here, kind of had to do it at an angle like this to get it in. Come on, get in there. I don't know why it doesn't want to go in right. Come on. There we go. Oh, kind of, sort of. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So now we got it all snapped in on that side. Okay. You can see the headphone jacks are popping out through there. That's how you want it. And then we can go ahead and go all the way around. Just clip everything back in. Okay. Clip everything back in. Oh, I probably should have brushed from the bottom as well because the bottom is maybe has some of that dusty stuff stuck to the sides of these. Okay. Brush that dust off the outside. Alright, there we go. Then we just go all around. Make sure to snap, clip everything back in. Okay, check on the other sides as well. Oh, I hear, like, bits of... Was there bits of loose stuff in there rolling around? Make sure there's no bits of loose stuff rolling around in there. You don't want things falling inside and causing problems. So let's go ahead and actually pop this open one more time just to make sure. Okay. Open it just at least a little bit. Okay. Sorry, knocked you guys around. I think I got most of it. Get back up there, please, and stay. Oh, oh no, my, my phone mount thing is messed up. It doesn't want to stay up there anymore. Stay up there, please. Okay, I'm going to have to fix this later. It's, it's messed up. It's going to keep falling out. Okay. If there's any crumbs or whatever, get them out, shake them out. Okay, I think it's good. Let's go ahead now and pop this all back down. Okay, make sure everything's good. Follow along around the edges, around the sides. Okay, looks good. All right, let's go ahead now and get all the screws back in and we should be good to go. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. Again, if it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Again, every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Other than that, that's pretty much all there is to it. We will, of course, power it back on to make sure everything is good. Let's actually get these hinge screws in and a few of the others, and then we'll power it up just to make sure everything's good before we get all the screws back in. Okay. All right. Get the hinge screws all into place. Get this screw. flip this over and then let's go ahead and plug this in and power it up okay get the thing and plug it in now okay you can see it doesn't come back out like before it was like popping back out the light is on down there and power button is here all right you hear it powering up and we have the MSI logo, so we should be good to go. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Again, we're just going to get all the screws back in. Let me make sure it actually boots Windows. Okay, I think it's already booting. Yep. All right, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Let me shut this down. Actually, we'll leave it on, and well, actually, we'll shut it down and then charge it some more. I'll leave it plugged in for them for a bit. 
and let's get the rest of the screws in. But yeah, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching again. Again, very important, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others, and consider contributing a little, supporting the channel. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get all these back in and we're done. Last four screws here. Sorry for knocking the camera over earlier. Alright, good to go. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Let's drop this bike.